So today, I woke up thinking about coffee, but not wanting to drink it. I don't drink coffee anymore because it just made me too anxious. But I saw one of my favorite photographers, Marvin King. He did this thing where he soaked a pair of his white shoes in coffee for a few hours, and it gave it this really nice off-white vintage look. And even though I just cleaned my white Air Force Ones, I thought why not try it with them. I've been wanting to switch them up a little bit or customize them in some way, so I thought this would be the perfect way to do that. Now this part is purely for the aesthetic. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I thought I would include it anyway. Obviously, the first thing that you'll need is some coffee. So I just have some instant coffee here, a pair of white shoes. These are my Have a Nike Day Air Force Ones that are actually a kid's size. It's such a blessing and a big life hack if you're able to fit in kids' shoes because you just save so much money. And then next, you'll need some sort of like stirring utensil. I stole this old spoon from the kitchen to use. And finally, you'll need some sort of pot to boil the hot water in for the coffee slash soak your shoes in. I use this old pot from the kitchen and yeah that's basically all the materials that you'll need so yay! <laughs> Once the water was ready, I took it outside. Safety first, of course, it was very hot. I used oven mitts because I'm a baby. And I took the pot of hot water to my backyard because that's where I was going to do everything. Grab everything you need, your shoes, the spoon, the coffee, and now we're ready. I wasn't sure how much coffee to put in, so I just put like a little bit more than half, not too much. I think it was a good amount for how it turned out. But I think it's the same concept with like tie-dye. The more dye you put, the darker it'll be, and the longer you soak it also, the darker it'll be. So I guess depending on your preference of how you want it to come out, just keep that in mind. And this is the easy part, you just want to let the shoes soak for a few hours or even a few days depending how dark you want them. I did end up checking on the shoes after about an hour just to see how things were looking. I also used these two PVC pipes to keep the shoes from floating to the surface. This way I would make sure that the whole shoe was submerged in the coffee bath and that there would be no like random white spots. I checked on the shoes and I really liked how they looked, so I decided I was done. I took them out of the coffee bath and took them to the washing machine. I honestly just copied what Marvin King did, so he just gave his shoes a light wash with no detergent in cold water, and so I just did the same thing. But yeah, stay tuned for the big reveal coming soon, like right now. I was a terror since the public school era Bathroom passes, cutting classes, squeezing asses Smoking blunts was a daily routine Since 13, a chubby nigga on the scene I used to have to play too here are the shoes. I really like how they turned out. I also realized it's probably hard to tell the difference from before and after, so I included like a little before and after shot. Here are just some of my final thoughts. You might be thinking, wow, the shoes looked a lot better before she dunked them in coffee. She just ruined a pair of good Air Force Ones. And you know what? I'll just say that we're all entitled to our own opinions for sure, so I respect that. But I personally like the look of the shoes and I just wanted to switch 
switch it up a bit because change is good and change is healthy. I also just really enjoyed the process of doing it. It truly was a lot of fun and I feel like when you do DIY projects like this, it really makes the item feel more special to you because there's that personalization aspect. But yeah, I guess that's all I really got for today. I hope you enjoyed watching and please subscribe for more wholesome content. I just wanted to say thank you so much for being here and spending time to watch my stuff. As always, if you made it to the end, I appreciate you so much and have so much love for you. And yeah, I guess I'll see you next time.